All right, well, somebody from the Discord server has been creating some variants recently and posting those. And so I'm gonna look at one of them today. This is called Doubtle. Um, so the idea is it's like Wordle, but you have some doubt um, about what the clues mean. Uh, so in some ways, it's sort of similar to Fibble, where the clues could be right or wrong, but it's a little different than that. Um, it's also, it's, it's, I think it's closer to like a combo of Warmel and, uh, or Wordle Peaks and Fibble. So, um, let's look at the instructions. We'll figure this out. I haven't actually, I haven't actually done this yet, but I did look through the instructions. So, um, so you guess the daily word in six tries. Um, we'll get the coloring. So the, the colors here and the, the kind of the arrow pointing of the thing, like the A, this is pointing down. It's kind of like Wordle Peaks where it's pointing down and pointing up to tell you earlier and later in the alphabet. But, the green means the letter is at most one letter. So it's either correct or it's off by one. And the up and down arrows are telling you that the letter is at least two letters earlier. So it could be way earlier. Um, so, so in Wordle Peaks, when the, the arrow is pointing up, it's saying earlier in the alphabet, but it could be one letter earlier or more. This is saying it's at least two letters earlier. If that makes sense, because if it's in within one, then you get a green. So the green doesn't necessarily mean the letter is right. That's the main uh, thing to remember here. So uh, I, I I don't know the best approach or anything. Uh, we're just gonna go for it. I'm basically gonna approach it like like Wordle Peaks or Wormel or something. I think um, kind of go for you know letters in the middle of the alphabet mainly. So um, let's start with lemon. Why not? That seems decent. Mostly middle of the road letters. Okay, so this is earlier. Okay, so up and to the left is earlier. Um, down and to the right is later. So, oh, so this is. It can't be D or it's a it's A B or C. The second one is A B or C. Uh, okay, so there we go. Uh, and then these are all later. This is A B or C. So I want to probably do now. The problem is. Here's the problem. We know it's A, B, or C. So, normally, what you would want to do is guess B, right? If you were doing Wordle Peaks or Wormel or something, you'd want to guess a B because it has to be A, B, or C. And if you guess B, you would either get green because it's right or you would know earlier or later you'd know it was A or C. But in this, if I guess B, it's a green guaranteed because the green just means it's the letter or one off. So if I guess B, it's a green. So actually guessing B won't tell us anything. So I want to guess A or C, because if I guess A, and it's A or B, I'll get a green. But if it's C, I'll get uh, a blue. Or I could guess C, and then I... So basically, it lets you eliminate one letter that way. Potentially, or find the letter. So, we don't actually want to guess B. We want to guess A or C there. So maybe an A would be good. Now, the other ones, we want to kind of split the difference in the alphabet. Roughly, um, we could do maybe like an F A. F A might be good. We could do F A S. Fast, fast might be good. Let's go with that. Okay, so we got a green, which means this one is A or B. It can't be C anymore. And interesting, these are possibly T and S. They could be S and T. They could be. Um, now this last one is an R. So the only way that this last one is going to be an R, I think, is if this one is a U. It could be U-R, but it's not going to be S-R or T-R. So I think this one is probably S or T. Now this is earlier. So this is earlier than... So it has to be Q or less. Q probably not. We could do Q-U, but that then this one would have to be an S or a T. Yeah, that doesn't really work. So... I think probably not Q, so, but it has to be at least O. So I think this is O or P in the middle here. But again, do we want to guess an O or a P? Because if it's O or P and we guess one of those two, it's going to give us a green either way. So, hmm. So, unless we think we have the answer, we might be better off to guess N. Because if it's O and we guess N, we'll get a green. And if it's P and we guess N, we'll get a blue. So an N there might be good. Now I'm thinking, oh, but a C here could be good because that would let us determine A versus B. 
but are we going to be able to do a C and an N? Hmm. You know, we could do something like Acnes, which would give us the C and the N, and A is not terrible here, but... Because this one has to be A, B, C, or D, so maybe that's not terrible. It's good for the first three. Now, it doesn't help us with the last two. But if we can get if we can nail down the second and third letters here, that would be really good. All right, I'm gonna go with that. Interesting. Okay, so so C here means so so the A means it's either A or B. C means it's B, C, or D. Therefore, it is a B. The second letter is a B. This one is M, N, or O, but we know it can't be M or N because of the blue one up here. So it is. O. So we have a B and an O. This one is A or B. Well, it's not going to be B, B. So it's got to be A, B, O. It's got to be about, about. And U with the T and T with the S. That works. So the answer is about. And there we go. We got it. Very nice. So first one, uh, win streak of one. Very good. All right. So there we go. I've got a, a win streak of one. 100% win rate. Uh, first one I've ever done. So, very cool. So that was pretty fun. Thank you to uh, M1 Mikro, Miketro, I really don't know how to say your name, but there you go. Um, they've got several other games, Attractal, Proximal, so maybe we'll look at some of those in the future, but go check out Dowdle, link in the description if you want to try it yourself. Pretty interesting. It is, uh, it's kind of got a little bit of a fibble feel to it where you can't quite know for sure what the answer is, but not quite so... Um, unknown as Fibble, I guess. Sort of a, a Fibble light in a way, while also crossed with like a Warmel or Wordle Peak. So, pretty fun, pretty interesting. So, let me know how you did with this Dowdle, or if you do a different one, let me know how that goes. And be sure to subscribe for more puzzles.